Today, I have an important message for all of you who have set goals but struggle to stick to them. I know it can be frustrating and discouraging when we set out to achieve something and end up falling short. But let me tell you, you are not alone. In fact, it's a common struggle that many people face. The good news is there are ways to overcome this challenge and stay on track towards your goals. That's why in today's message, I want to share with you five powerful ways to stick to your goals. These are principles that I have personally used and have seen tremendous results in my own life. And I believe that by listening to this message, you too can turn things around and start making progress towards your goals. So, if you're ready to learn how to stay committed and focused on your goals, then keep watching. Because I am confident that these five ways will help you overcome any obstacles and achieve the success you desire. Let's get started. Starting with number five. As we continue on our journey of personal development, it is important to remember that the path to success is not always easy. It requires hard work, dedication, and most importantly, a positive and persistent mindset. So, what exactly does it mean to stay positive and persistent? It means having an unwavering belief in yourself and your abilities, even when faced with challenges and setbacks. It means choosing to see the glass as half full instead of half empty. It means never giving up, no matter how many times you may stumble or fall. My friends, I can tell you from personal experience that staying positive and persistent is not always easy. In fact, it can be one of the most difficult things to do when faced with adversity. But I can also tell you that it is absolutely crucial for achieving your goals and living a fulfilling life. Let me share with you a story about a young man named John. John had a dream of becoming a successful entrepreneur and creating a better life for himself and his family. He had a clear vision of what he wanted to achieve and had set specific goals to get there. However, as John began his journey, he faced numerous challenges and obstacles. He was met with rejection, failure, and even criticism from those around him. It would have been easy for John to give up and let go of his dreams, but instead he chose to stay positive and persistent. Every time he faced a setback, he reminded himself of his ultimate goal and why he was doing what he was doing. He surrounded himself with positive and supportive people who believed in him and his vision. And most importantly, he never gave up. He persisted through the tough times and eventually his hard work paid off. Today, John is a successful entrepreneur living the life he had always dreamed of. My friends, this is the power of staying positive and persistent. It is what separates those who achieve their goals from those who give up. So how can we cultivate this mindset and make it a part of our daily lives? The first step is to focus on the positive. It is easy to get caught up in negativity and dwell on our failures and shortcomings. But I urge you to shift your focus to the good things in your life. Take a moment each day to reflect on what you are grateful for and celebrate your small wins. This will help to keep your spirits high and your mindset positive. The second step is to surround yourself with positive and supportive people. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So choose your circle wisely. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and your goals and who will lift you up when you are feeling down. And remember, it is okay to distance yourself from those who bring negativity into your life. The third step is to practice self-care. Taking care of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being is crucial for staying positive and persistent. Make time for activities that bring you joy and help you relax. Exercise regularly and fuel your body with nutritious food. And most importantly, be kind to yourself. We all make mistakes, but it is important to forgive ourselves and keep moving forward. The fourth step is to reframe your thoughts. Instead of seeing challenges as roadblocks, see them as opportunities for growth and learning. When faced with a setback, ask yourself, 
what can I learn from this? And how can I use this experience to become better? By reframing your thoughts, you can turn any negative situation into a positive one. And finally, the fifth step is to never give up. As I mentioned earlier, success is not a straight path. It is filled with ups and downs, twists and turns. But if you stay positive and persistent, you will eventually reach your destination. Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. So keep pushing forward, even when it feels like the odds are against you. My friends, staying positive and persistent is not a one-time thing. It is a daily practice that requires constant effort and determination. But I can assure you, the rewards are worth it. Not only will you achieve your goals, but you will also become a stronger, more resilient person in the process. Now to number four, which is celebrating small victories. Many of us have big dreams and goals that we want to achieve, but often we get overwhelmed by the enormity of these goals. We start to doubt ourselves and question whether we are capable of achieving them. This is where celebrating small victories becomes crucial. It allows us to break down our goals into smaller, more manageable chunks and celebrate each step of the way. Think about it. When a baby learns to walk, we don't expect them to go from crawling to running in one day. We celebrate each small victory, each step they take towards their ultimate goal of walking. And the same principle applies to our own goals. We must learn to celebrate each small victory, each step we take towards our ultimate goal. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, why should I celebrate small victories? They are just small steps towards my big goal. And my response to that is, why not? Celebrating small victories not only gives us a sense of accomplishment and motivation, but it also allows us to reflect on our progress and see how far we have come. We live in a society where we are constantly bombarded with messages of instant gratification. We want things fast and easy, and when we don't see immediate results, we get discouraged and give up. But the truth is, success is not a straight path, and it takes time, effort, and dedication to achieve our goals. Celebrating small victories helps us stay on track and reminds us that progress, no matter how small, is still progress. So how can we celebrate small victories? The first step is to define what a small victory means to you. It could be completing a task, reaching a milestone, or overcoming a challenge. Whatever it may be, make sure it is something that brings you closer to your goal. Next, take a moment to acknowledge and appreciate your achievement. This could be as simple as giving yourself a pat on the back, saying a few words of encouragement to yourself, or treating yourself to something you enjoy. The key is to take a moment to celebrate and recognize your progress. Another way to celebrate small victories is to share them with others. This could be with friends, family, or even on social media. By sharing your achievements, you not only spread positivity and inspiration to others, but you also hold yourself accountable and motivate yourself to keep going. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, what if I don't achieve my goal? What if I fail? My response to that is, so what? Failure is a part of the journey towards success. It is through failure that we learn, grow, and become better versions of ourselves. And even if we don't achieve our ultimate goal, celebrating small victories allows us to appreciate the progress we have made and the lessons we have learned along the way. I want to share a personal story with you all. When I first started my journey towards success, I had a big dream of becoming a successful entrepreneur. But I faced many challenges and setbacks along the way. There were times when I wanted to give up, but I reminded myself to celebrate small victories. Every time I closed a deal, every time I received positive feedback from a client, and every time I learned something new, I celebrated. And before I knew it, those small victories added up, and I had achieved my ultimate goal of becoming a successful entrepreneur. Now to number three, which is staying accountable. 
Accountability is the glue that holds our goals and dreams together. It is the fuel that keeps us going when the going gets tough. Without accountability, our goals are just mere wishes, floating in the wind with no direction or purpose. But with accountability, our goals become a reality and our dreams become our destiny. So what exactly does it mean to stay accountable? Simply put, it means taking responsibility for our actions and being answerable to ourselves and others for the outcomes. It means setting clear and measurable goals, creating a plan of action, and consistently tracking our progress towards those goals. It means being honest with ourselves and acknowledging when we fall short and taking the necessary steps to get back on track. Now let me ask you this. How many times have you set a goal for yourself only to give up on it a few weeks or months later? How many times have you told yourself that you will start that diet or exercise routine on Monday only to find yourself making excuses and pushing it off for another day? How many times have you promised yourself that you will save more money or spend more time with your loved ones only to let life get in the way? We have all been there. We have all experienced the frustration and disappointment of not following through on our goals. But the good news is it doesn't have to be this way. By staying accountable, we can break this cycle of self-sabotage and finally achieve the success we desire. So how do we stay accountable? The first step is to set clear and specific goals. Many of us have a general idea of what we want to achieve, but we fail to define it in concrete terms. For example, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, set a specific goal such as, I want to lose 10 pounds in the next three months. This gives us a clear target to aim for and makes it easier to track our progress. The next step is to create a plan of action. A goal without a plan is just a wish. We must break down our goals into smaller, actionable steps and create a roadmap to achieve them. This not only helps us stay focused, but it also gives us a sense of direction and purpose. But having a plan is not enough. We must also consistently track our progress towards our goals. This means setting aside time each week to review our actions and see if we are on track. If we are falling behind, we must take the necessary steps to get back on track. And if we are making progress, we must celebrate our wins and use that momentum to keep moving forward. Now here's where accountability comes into play. It's easy to make excuses and let ourselves off the hook when we are the only ones holding ourselves accountable. But when we involve others in our journey, it becomes much harder to give up. This is where an accountability partner or a support group can be incredibly beneficial. By sharing our goals with someone else, we are not only making a commitment to ourselves, but we are also making a commitment to them. And when we have someone else holding us accountable, we are more likely to follow through on our actions and stay on track. Another powerful way to stay accountable is to publicly declare our goals. This could mean sharing our goals on social media or with our friends and family. When we make our goals public, we are not only holding ourselves accountable, but we are also inviting others to support us and hold us accountable as well. But perhaps the most crucial aspect of staying accountable is being honest with ourselves. We must be willing to acknowledge when we fall short and take responsibility for our actions. It's easy to make excuses and blame external factors for our lack of progress. But the truth is, the only thing standing in the way of our success is ourselves. By taking ownership of our actions and holding ourselves accountable, we can break free from self-sabotage and finally achieve our goals. Moving on to number two, and that is to create a plan. You see, having a goal is great. It gives us something to strive for, something to work towards. But without a plan, a goal is just a wish. It's like trying to build a house without a blueprint. You may have all the materials and tools, but without a plan, you'll end up with a mess instead of a beautiful home. The same goes for our goals. We need a plan to guide us, to keep us on track, and to help us overcome any obstacles that may come our way. 
So how do we create a plan that will lead us to success? Let me share with you some key points. First and foremost, we need to be specific about our goals. Many of us have a general idea of what we want to achieve, but we need to be more specific. For example, if your goal is to lose weight, how much weight do you want to lose? By when do you want to achieve this goal? Being specific not only gives us a clear target, but it also helps us to measure our progress. Next, we need to break our goals down into smaller, more manageable tasks. This is where many people get overwhelmed and give up on their goals. They see the end result and think it's too big, too daunting. But if we break it down into smaller tasks, it becomes less intimidating. And when we accomplish each task, it gives us a sense of achievement and motivates us to keep going. Now let's talk about the timeline. As the saying goes, a goal without a deadline is just a dream. We need to set a timeline for each task and for the overall goal. This not only helps us to stay on track, but it also creates a sense of urgency. When we have a deadline, we are more likely to take action and make progress towards our goal. Another important aspect of creating a plan is to anticipate any potential obstacles. We all know that life can throw us curveballs, but if we have already thought about potential challenges and have a plan to overcome them, we are less likely to get derailed from our goals. Remember, it's not about avoiding obstacles. It's about being prepared to face them and keep moving forward. Now let's talk about accountability. It's easy to make excuses and let ourselves off the hook when we don't have someone holding us accountable. That's why it's important to share our goals and our plan with someone we trust. This could be a friend, a family member, or a coach. When we have someone to answer to, we are more likely to stay committed to our plan and achieve our goals. But creating a plan is not just about the end result. It's also about the journey. We need to enjoy the process, celebrate our successes, and learn from our failures. It's important to have a positive mindset and not get discouraged when things don't go as planned. Remember, every setback is an opportunity to learn and grow. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, I don't have the time to create a plan. But let me tell you, if you don't have the time to plan, you don't have the time to succeed. Planning is an investment in our future. It may take some time and effort now, but it will save us time and frustration in the long run. And now I want to share with you the number one way to stick to your goals and make them a reality, and that is by setting specific and achievable goals. Let me ask you this, have you ever set a goal that was so vague and general that you had no idea where to even begin? Maybe it was something like, I want to be successful or I want to be healthier. While these are admirable goals, they lack specificity and therefore, it becomes difficult to create a plan of action to achieve them. On the other hand, setting specific goals means defining exactly what you want to achieve and how you will achieve it. It means setting a clear and measurable target that you can work towards. For example, instead of saying, I want to be successful, you could say, I want to increase my income by 20% in the next six months. This goal is specific, measurable, and has a deadline. But setting specific goals is just the first step. The next step is to make sure that these goals are achievable. Now, I am not saying that you should limit yourself or set small goals. In fact, I believe in dreaming big and setting audacious goals. But at the same time, we must be realistic and consider our current circumstances and resources. For instance, if your goal is to become a millionaire in a year, but you are currently struggling to make ends meet, then that goal may not be achievable in such a short time frame. However, if you break it down into smaller achievable goals, such as increasing your income by 10% each month, it becomes more realistic and attainable. Setting achievable goals not only helps us stay motivated, but it also allows us to experience small wins along the way. These wins serve as fuel for our motivation and keep us on track towards our ultimate goal. Now, I want to share with you a powerful technique that will help you set specific and achievable goals. It is called the SMART goal setting method. 
SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Let's break it down. Specific means defining exactly what you want to achieve. Measurable means setting a target that can be quantified or measured. Achievable means setting a goal that is within your reach. Relevant means setting a goal that aligns with your values and priorities. And lastly, time-bound means setting a deadline to achieve your goal. By using the SMART method, you can turn your vague and general goals into specific and achievable ones. Let's take the example of wanting to be healthier. Using the SMART method, we can turn it into, I want to lose 10 pounds in the next three months by exercising three times a week and following a balanced diet. This goal is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. But setting specific and achievable goals is just the first step. The real challenge lies in sticking to these goals and seeing them through to the end. And this is where many of us struggle. We get excited about setting goals, but when it comes to taking action, we often fall short. So how can we stay committed and motivated to our goals? The answer is simple by creating a plan of action. You see, setting goals is not enough. We must also have a plan in place to achieve them. And this plan should include specific actions that we will take to move towards our goal. For example, if your goal is to increase your income by 20% in the next six months, your plan of action may include actions such as networking, taking on additional projects, or learning new skills. By having a plan in place, you are setting yourself up for success and increasing your chances of achieving your goals. But even with a plan, there will be times when we face challenges and setbacks. And this is where the power of perseverance comes in. We must be willing to push through the tough times and stay committed to our goals. Remember, success is not a straight line. It is filled with ups and downs. But it is our determination and perseverance that will ultimately lead us to our desired destination. So, my friends, I urge you to set specific and achievable goals, create a plan of action, and persevere through the challenges. And I promise you, you will see your goals become a reality. Thank you.